the Jason Burke Maiden Chase is next. This is a four miler, and so uh, this is why it's got the biggest field of the week because everybody wants to get those four mile runs in for national qualification, don't they? So let's take a look who we've got. Then we've got Artisan Sundown for David Robertson, Flynn's Bullet for Martin Lidham, Gran Torino, Paul Rhodes, Irish Tony Craig Beckwith, Maggie's Saucier for Obi Wan, Southside Kevin Mead, and Teal Storm Graham Clutter, but Woodland Venture. David Hooley, Blanche Nege, Alex Cherry, Castle Donington for Darren Thompson, L.O.A.A. Lola for Patrick Hogan, Fire Memorial for Leon Van Rinsburg and Hardly for the National, Joshua Sutherland. So away we go then, four miles in front of them. And we've got to get two four-mile runs in to qualify for the Grand National, so a lot of people like to get them out of the way early on in the season, just to be on the safe side, and over that one they go. Although beware, if you win it, you'll probably get handicapped out of all the other four mile races until Cheltenham, which is something that one or two people are concerned about most seasons. But anyway, you get over the second, and it's Flynn's Bullet who's led over the first two. Stable companion to last year's Grand National winner, Blue Penny, who's back to defend her crown. And Flynn's Bullet, the stable will be hoping, is a a viable understudy and will join her at Liverpool at the back end of the season anyway they're over the third and Flynn's bullet in the lead by about three or four lengths to Fire Memorial in second then Teal Storm then L.O. L.A. Lola and I'm sure we'll get a tour around that quite easy eventually <laughs> when I saw it on a race card it looks like a mouthful but it's not that difficult is it really L.O. L.A. Lola I'm sure we'll remember that one easy enough. Anyway, Flynn's bullets in front as they get to the fourth. Got over that one nicely. Mistake towards the back was by Irish Tony. And Castle Donington is also out of the back as well. Flynn's bullet over the fifth. In front mistake there by the David Hooley Horse Woodland Venture. But they caught past the stand then. Flynn's bullet is the leader over the sixth. All safely over that one. So Flynn's bullet then will race away with a lead of about four or five lengths to Hardly for the National in second. Then Teal Storm is third. Artisan Sundown is fourth. Then LOLA Lola is after that one. Then comes Gran Torino and Southside and Woodland Venture and Fire Memorial Irish Tony and Maggie Saucier. And then Blanche Nish. And the one that's struggling at the back is Castle Donington. Very often see a Darren Thompson horse struggling at the back like that as they take that ditch. Testing track this one now, of course. And Flynn's bullet races downhill. Well, of course, it is predominantly uphill. And it's Flynn's bullet that leads by well, a good seven. It's a good track for front runners that can slip the field, this one. I've seen it many a time. Well, the horse has gone miles in front and everybody's thought nah, that one's gone too far in front and they've just never caught it and Flynn's bullet is a clear leader by seven or eight lengths to hardly for the national in second artisan sundown is third till storm is fourth then southside and gran torino and fire memorial and then lola lola as they get over the ninth all safely over that one, Castle Donington just poking his head into shot. There's still an awful long way to go. Flynn's bullet into the next. Jumping slowly but carefully, the leader. We've seen the lead decrease to three. Hardly for the national second, Artisan Sundown third, Teal Storm four. Then Gran Torino, as they get to the next. A mistake there was by Gran Torino. The grey is south side, I want to just poking his head into the front of the main pack, if you like, with the leaders. Oh, Flynn's bullet, hardly for the national and artisan sundown. Then a gap to Gran Torino and Teal Storm. There's Woodland Adventure in the purple, running really wide on the track is Blanche Neige, also quite wide, Fire Memorial. As they get to that ditch, they're all over Kutchapony inside there by Irish Tony 
see that one jump past the couple and Castle Donington still plugging away at the back only about five lengths off the main body of the field They're into the final two miles now and Flynn's bullet is being joined by Hardley for the national Artisan Sundown is back in third in Gran Torino and Woodland Venture and Teal Storm as they take the next Irish Tony another good jump on the inside also a good jump towards the back from Fire Memorial the jump has been pretty good so far as they make their way up the straight again and Hardly for the National has just taken it off as they get over that one and Hardly for the National just in the lead then off Flynn's bullet as they pass the stand for the second time next time is the time that will count and Hardly for the National on the outside of the locally trained Flynn's bullet in second Artisan Sundown is third and they get over the next then Woodland Venture and Gran Torino and Fire Memorial and Southside and then Teal Storm and Irish Tony in LOLA Lola and then Maggie Saucier and Blanche Neige and Castle Donington is now getting considerably closer and has joined Blanche Neige but hardly for the Nationals gone on and is now too clear of Flynn's bullet they take that ditch Flynn's bullet again a little slow and deliberate over it Artisan, Sundown, Gran Torino and Woodland Venture closing in on Flynn's Bullet for second then a bit of a gap to Southside the Grey with Fire Memorial on that one's outside as they get to the next and hardly for the National he's in the lead and four or five clear of Woodland Venture and Gran Torino then Flynn's Bullet Artisan Sundown, bit of a gap to Southside who's really running on nicely. Fire Memorials on that one's outside. Teal Storm has lost its place a little bit. Irish Tony is still travelling well and getting closer. Then a gap to LOLA Lola, Mackie Saucier, Blanche Neige, and finally Castle Donington. As they come down towards the next. And over that one they go. All safely over it with Hardly for the National Emeline, Gran Torino second, Woodland Ventures now gone third, Southside going one end of fourth, then Artisan Sundown on the inside, Flynn's bullet starting to drop through the field as they take the next, good jump by Fire Memorial on the outside, has seen that one get a bit closer and also creeping through from the back, look at this Castle Donington, he's gone past three and he's suddenly getting much closer to the rest of them, but it's Hardly for the National over the 21st in the lead, from in second place, Gran Torino on its outside, bit of a gap to Woodland Venture and Southside, also now Artisan Sundown trying to get up the inside, oh, Teal Storm Fire Memorials there as well, Castle Donington coming round the outside like an absolute train, and it's hardly for the National in front, Gran Torino is second, Artisan Sundown is a little bit boxed in on the inside, then after that one comes Woodland Venture and Teal Storm, Castle Donington is now coming through to challenge for the lead would you believe, it's hardly for the National, Gran Torino, Castle Donington, Artisan Sundown, over the 23rd they go, and it's Gran Torino's hit the front, Gran Torino's in front, Gran Torino from Hardly for the National, Artisan Sundown Castle Donington, surely between these is an uphill finish, and it's Hardly for the National Hello, 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 has gone up the back, it's Hardly for the National who's in front from Gran Torino in second then Artisan Sundown Castle Donington is in fourth bit of a gap back to Southside Blanche Nish has also gone out of the back but Hardly for the National has got back into the lead over the second last and is now four or five clear it's Hardly for the National who's in front Artisan Sundown is in second Gran Torino has got nothing left Castle Donington still trying to run on into third the great Southside is after that one but at the final fence it's Hardly for the National who's got over it and it looks like he might well be for the National, never mind hardly for the National, hardly for the National is racing up the hill and racing up towards the finishing line to take it comfortably from Castle Donington in second, then came Artisan Sundown and Fire Memorial and Teal Storm was the last one to finish, long time later Flynn's bullet pulled up in the end, that one went off too quickly and hardly for the National, he caused lots of his horses for the National or something to do with the National Grand um, Joshua Southern when he thinks he's got a National horse um, looks like he might have got a good one again this time and Castle Donington, what an interesting race that one ran hardly for the National wins it for Joshua Sutherland Castle Donington, it looked like it was so far behind it was going to get pulled up at one point was second, Artisan Sundown for David Robertson was third Gran Torino, Paul Rhodes was fourth and Southside for Kevin Minahan was fifth